So are we on? I think we're on. Hello everyone. I want to do an example for you of building a normal probability plot. I taught this uh, last week in class. Unfortunately, some of you have to leave early. And I thought it might be good that I make a video on it because you need it for the homework. So what I'm going to do is example 6.15 on page 269 of our Weiss book, The Elementary Statistics. Okay? They give you a bunch of numbers and they ask the question, is it normally distributed? That's pretty hard to tell just by looking at it, but there is a thing you can do called a normal probability plot that will give you an idea of what's going on. Here are the numbers from that problem. There were 17 of them. I labeled them right here. The first thing you should do is place them in order, which is fortunately easy to do. You go to data, you go to sort, you say OK, and nothing happened. Go that one more time. Uh, data, sort, there we go. <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong there. OK, now you got the numbers in order from 0 to 91. We're going to compare that to some data that is normally distributed, and we're getting that out of Table 3 that's in the appendix of your book. So you go to Table 3, you go to the one with 17 entries, the 17 column, which I just happened to place on uh, this sheet, so I can just copy it and bring it over, because I'm lazy. And there we go. Now these numbers are very much bell-shaped. Is this one bell-shaped? Well, it's hard to tell just by looking at it, but this one is pretty much bell-shaped. These, all these negative numbers appear here as positive numbers. So, let's build our normal probability plot. So let's highlight all these numbers. Let's say insert. Let's say scatter. And let's do a connected one, and there it is. Now let's let's give it a title. Let's call it uh, normal probability plot. You could label it as you know what the homework problem is. Uh, let's call it normal plot for now. Okay, now take a look at it. These kind of lining up in a line all the way from here to here, but boy, you got this one that's way out here. That's the zero right there. That's that zero that was in our data. That doesn't look like it belongs, does it? We call that an outlier. He just does not seem to fit the rest of the data. If you're grabbing a whole bunch of um, data from a large population and you got one value that doesn't seem to fit the rest of them, you might call that an outlier. You might want to just leave them out of the, the study. And that would probably be a good idea for this one because this guy does not seem to belong. He is clearly an outlier. The rest of them, yeah, for a small amount of data, you could pretty much say that that's uh, a normal shaped curve. Okay, that's how you do the homework. Make sure when you use table 3, you don't get the one with 17 entries. You want the column that has, I believe you're working with 20 numbers, so you want the one with 20 entries. And that's basically your difference. Okay?